Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Joanne. I have another thrift haul video to share with you today from the Durham Rescue Mission Outlet. And as usual, some of the things I'll be keeping for myself and some of the things I will be reselling. And this little black and white fur ball behind me is not Lewis, if you thought that's who it might be. This is my other tuxedo named Cece. Um, she is a female and considerably smaller than Lewis, and this may be the very first time that you have ever met her. Uh, she's rather shy and kind of keeps to herself, but there she is, Cece. Hey, girl. Hi. You want to say hello? She has the most beautiful eyes. Oh, my goodness. Lewis is right here, though, and I do hope that he's not going to hit the camera while I'm recording. But let me go ahead and get started with this video and show you everything that I found. I'm going to get through some clothes first. Um, picked up a couple of dresses, which I don't wear a whole lot of, but I thought with this heat that we've been having here in Raleigh, it might be nice to have a couple of dresses. Now, this one doesn't go along with that because this is a heavier dress. This I'll be able to wear, you know, in the fall and winter time. Now, it is missing its belt, but I think that um, I have a black belt with a silver, silver buckle on it that I think will look pretty nice with this. Now this was originally at their one of their retail stores and they were asking um, $4.99 for it. So it didn't sell and off to the bins that it went. And this is from a company called Charango. I may have seen this label before but I don't know a whole lot about it. And then this will actually be a little bit more for the fall as well because it's a long sleeve uh, by Pendleton. Just a, just a long sleeve kind of um, t-shirt, I would call it, a heavier t-shirt. But this will be nice for the fall going into the winter time. Louis, come on, get down, buddy. Oh, yes, I love you too, Cece. Got a little headbutt there. <laughs> this I'll be able to wear now. And this is from Banana Republic, just kind of a V-neck t-shirt. Thank you, girl. Okay, all right. Another one for fall into winter. And this one, hmm. I've seen this label before, but for the life of me now, I can't recall who the manufacturer is. No, sir. Lewis, no, come on. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's clothes or what. He loves to play with it. And it's almost a waffle weave, long sleeve. Again, I'm going to call this a t-shirt. Can you see I'm really looking forward to the colder weather? Fall is my absolute favorite time of the year. Come on, buddy. Come on, get to get off those. Lewis, no. This one is from Chico's Weekends. I really liked the two-tone blue on this, and it has this zippered collar here. Long-sleeved. Well, this will be great as well when the weather starts to cool down a bit. No, Lewis, no. Let me put him down. Oh, say hello to everyone before I put you down, okay? You want to say hello? No, you just want to bite me. Okay, down you go. Ow. Oh, it's not that. Uh, finally, here's the dress I said that I got that I could wear now with all of this warm weather that we have. Um, don't see a tag in it. So I don't know who made it, but it's a black with white polka dot. Whoops, hold on. I'm dropping things all over the place. Just this black with white polka dot dress. It does fit. Thank goodness for that. And then this I got. I haven't tried this on yet, so I don't know if this is going to fit. If it doesn't fit me, I'm going to see if my friend might like it. It says, it's a t-shirt, and I would just wear this around the house more than likely. It says, gun-owning, American-loving 
USA Country Girl. Picked up that for myself or for my friend. And then this bag I got, but this I'm not going to be keeping. I'm going to be reselling this. I just thought it was an adorable little suede bag. Um, perfect for the season that's coming up. Uh, let me see who made this bag. If there's a tag in here. Uh, there is. Oh my goodness, what does that say? It says... Oh gosh. E-C-O-T-E. -E, Ecote. If that's how you pronounce that. But this is an adorable little bag. And this, I think, is long enough that it could be worn as a crossbody bag. And you can see that kind of embossing that's on the front of it here on that front flap. And then the nice fringe on it. But just really cute little bag. <clears throat> Thank you, girl. And then these I got for resale. These are from Columbia. Now they do need, as you can see, some cleaning up on the bottom, but that's a really easy cleanup. And these are in excellent condition. There's no cracking on the bottom because I did test them there. The inside is nice and clean, even though they have been worn. And once I get these cleaned up, these are going to be going um, to the real real because Columbia is one of the brands that they will take. I'm going to set these down. Okay, I think that's it for the clothes and that sort of thing. I want to show this to you next. And it's a serving, uh, well, it's a serving bowl, and then it has all these dishes around it that just kind of hook on the sides. And it's made of a very hard plastic. It's not uh, marked on the bottom, so I don't know who made it, but I thought this would be perfect for like you could put your chips in here you could even do taco night with this and put your taco shells in here and your you know your meats and your lettuces and all the toppings all around the outside of it it cleans up really nicely because this was really dirty when i when i got it um, but it cleaned up real nice and then these little trays just store inside So, you know, keeping this, see, and then it just goes into this little piece right here. So I thought this was a great, great piece. Let me look at the bottom again. Now, it just says uh, UK registration number 101509, uh, but no manufacturer on it. But great piece, I thought. I found a pet taxi which Lewis absolutely loves anytime he can get the chance he crawls into this which I think is actually hysterical because when I tried to take him to well when I did take him to the vet for his yearly checkup oh I had a bugger of a time getting him into the uh, the cat carrier to bring him to the vet and now this one he just walks right into it so when it's time to bring him to the vet next year for his checkup I'm hoping that he won't go into this one uh, there's this one I'm going to resell, but I have another one that I keep in the laundry room. I hope that he will just walk right into that one like he did to this one. It would just make things so much easier for both of us. Now this little guy, when you see him, you're going to know why I had to pick him up. Look him. Oh my goodness. It's, is that Bob Ross, the painter? He's so cute. He's got a paintbrush here in one hand. Now, it looks like he was supposed to be holding something in this hand, but that had been pulled off. Um, this piece right here, the tag has been chewed a little bit. I don't know by who. Um, yep, there's a B there. So it is a Bob. I think his name is Bob Ross. If it's not, I'll correct it. And he's got some tags I have to cut off of him. But oh my goodness, I couldn't leave this guy behind. He was just too cute. Oh, you want to go in here now? Here you go. There you go, you can go in. Can you see him? Go ahead. Go on in. Oh, of course he's not going to go in now because I told you he was going into it. 
Uh, this I picked up for my daughter <clears throat> and her friends. It's a deluxe edition Scrabble game. There he goes. See him? Can you see him down there? <laughs> it's a deluxe edition Scrabble game. And I counted up all the tiles. They're all there, 100 of them. And what I like about this game for her and her friends is that it's on... Now, I think I have to give it a little bit of um, WD-40 but it's on a turntable so they can play if she has a game night or something at her apartment i thought this would be perfect and it still has some uh, of the papers in here the scorecards and the three or four rather wooden uh tile holders look out there louis so that should be fun for her and her friends And don't forget, at the end of this video, I'm going to let you know what my favorite find was from this haul. And I hope that you will leave a comment in the comment section down below and let everyone know what your favorite find was. Yes, Louis. I found a pet taxi. I already have one of these for Violet. And these things are quite pricey online. At, at least thirty to forty dollars for a pet taxi online. This is larger than the one that I have for her, and Violet is uh, about just under twenty pounds. So this probably would hold maybe a thirty or so pound dog or cat for that matter. Well, I hope a cat wouldn't be thirty pounds. That'd be very heavy and unhealthy. Oh, hold on! I've got to go get something because I want to show you what I did. That's unconventional with a paper towel holder. So hold on just a second. Okay, so you may remember several videos back, or maybe it was my last video, I showed you a whole bunch of vintage hats that I got for free at a church yard sale. And um, I was trying to figure out how to display them. So I had this thought and I went and got a styrofoam mannequin head and I decoupaged on some old uh, sheet music. I ripped it up and decoupaged it all over the styrofoam head. And then I thought, well, I need something to display this on. And this is all for my booth. So I thought if I could find a paper towel holder that would be perfect because the head I could just slip it right on here could cut this down if I needed to Lewis don't chew on Bob I could cut this down if I needed to paint it whatever so I was lucky enough that day I found two of them and this one I have already painted up now this little knob here was on top of the paper towel holder here I just took it off and uh, glued it down there, painted the whole thing. I think that was two, almost three coats of paint. So there we go with the mannequin head on it. And then this is what it will look like displayed up in my booth. I'm also going to take, uh, I have a blue and white striped scarf that I'm going to tie around the neck here. And then once I find a vintage bag that I think will go, go nicely with this whole display here, I can just set it right there. And ev everything of this is going to be for sale. So the hat, of course, is for sale, but I am going to also put a price on the mannequin head and on the display piece as well. That way, if somebody wants one, two, or all three or more of the pieces, that would be fantastic. But that's what my unconventional use for a wooden paper towel holder is. Sometimes you just have to think outside of the box. Uh, I came across a bunch of Pyrex storage container lids, all different sizes, two cups, a bunch of seven cups. Uh, what is this one here? That one I cannot read. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, there's even more of them. Six, no, that's a four cupper. Another four. And a couple more twos. So I'm not sure 
quite yet how I'm going to sell these. If it's going, if I'm going to put these on eBay or if I'm going to try them up at the booth, I really am not sure. I have to think about that a little bit. I found an orange Tupperware container and I'm sure that I have a lid that will fit this. I get the, I got this primarily because of the orange color because when I transition my booth over to fall, I want to bring in some uh, deeper colors, some dark reds, greens, oranges, um, blacks, that sort of thing. So I was happy that I found a good color for that. Um, these are just blank CDs and they have a flag. Oh, I thought it was on the front and the back. Oh, darn, it's only on the front. Okay, that's all right. On the front, uh, I saw a long time ago somebody make a wreath out of these. And I think that would be really pretty uh, for, um, you know, a, a patriotic, patriotic holiday. So I'm just going to put these away in my stash for next year. And then when the time comes, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and um, make that wreath, if I even remember to make the wreath. Oh, another Pyrex lid. More Pyrex lids. Uh, one little piece of Tupperware here. Oh. oh, my goodness. It's just a little drinking cup with a lid on it. I'm, I'm assuming it's a drinking cup. A couple of tumblers, Pyrex tumblers. These are not selling for me. I will, I'm will. i going to be truthful with you. These are not selling for me up at the booth. Um, I got these primarily for the color uh, because I'm hoping the more fall colors I have in the booth, it'll more it'll kind of draw people into it so that they'll look around and hopefully find something that they cannot live without. And this little guy, I can't believe he was still there. This is a Snoopy thermos, and this has a date on it of 1958. One more year, and it would have been the year that I was born, 1959. So I picked this up. This is in really good condition. There's a couple little surface scratches on the front of it. But I mean, goodness gracious, if I told you how many surface scratches I had on me, and this is older than me, and the inside too, it's plastic it's not the glass interior but I just I couldn't leave this little guy behind what does that say on the bottom uh just it's a thermos division and it's uh it says how many cups it is which I, I think it's eight ounces is what it says Picked up this little basket. I thought it was really, really pretty and would look great with either a faux or a real plant in it. And, you know, baskets are next to nothing um, at the outlet. <clears throat> Found a jello mold for Tupperware. Just a nice white one here. It's not, seems to be in pretty good condition, too. I have to wash that up. Uh, this I found and I'll put away. For the spring and summertime, it's, as you can see, a seashell. It's in perfect condition. There's no chips or anything on it. So that would be a great for spring and summer. Uh, this is another thing I couldn't leave behind. It's a Velveeta um, cheese container. So I don't know if this has any age. I don't know if they still make these or not. Uh, made in the USA doesn't have a date or anything on it. So who knows, maybe they still make these. I'm gonna to have to check and see. Um, but either way, I'm probably gonna put this in my, actually, if, if they don't make these any longer, I will put it up in my booth. If they still do make them, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and donate it. Found these uh, trivets, which I think are just really cool. This wooden one here. And then we have two that are the same that look like this. So these I'll just put all together in a group and sell them as a lot of three of them. And then the last thing that I have is this metal. I think this is from a card catalog. 
Now, I don't know if all of you out there are going to know what a card catalog is, but back in the day <laughs> when you used to have to go to the library uh, for grade school and, and high school even, uh, you found your books by going into these large cabinets that they had where this may not be one because this thing is kind of short. But you went into this <clears throat> cabinet um, and you would find the card for the book that you were looking for and it would tell you where in the library you would find it. So I originally I did think this was from that, but it really does seem kind of short, doesn't it? But anyhow, I've seen some other uh, YouTubers pick these up thrifting and they seem to be quite popular with folks. So I thought I would go ahead and give it a shot. So the only other thing left is the, the uh, pet taxi, which you have already seen. So that is everything. So what is my favorite thing that I got? You know, I really like this for its quirkiness. I think this is just so, so cute. But I think the favorite thing that I picked up were these serving pieces. Because I think they may have some, some age to them. I might do a Google Lens search on them and see if I can find them or something that's very similar to them. Um, but this is going to be my favorite. So don't forget, in the comment section down below, let everyone know what your favorite find was from today's haul. I want to thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in my next video, which will be on Sunday for my weekly Sunday thrift haul. And until then, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. And bye for now.